So this is my solar generator. And the other day I was doing some testing for another video using this as my power source. And I noticed that while I was running some current, this battery cutoff switch got really hot. Now this is supposedly rated for 100 amps. And at the time I was only pushing 30 amps, but this thing got incredibly hot at 30 amps. And I've just decided that it's um, a piece of junk and it's, it's you know, it's, it's been overrated by the Chinese sellers. And uh, so I'm going to end up having to replace it. But first I'm going to show you what it's doing. Um, what really sucks is it's a lovely switch. It fits nicely on the case, has good action, you know, is, is pretty compact, perfect for solar generators. Everything about the switch is great except that it can't handle any real current. So I'm going to replace it. I got this other style. Um, it's not as nice as this style, but this does seem beefy and it's got some real weight to it and some nice, um, you know, you can see copper lugs and, and brass lugs. Um, this, I think, will carry the current. Um, this, you know, is just not cutting it. Anyways, let me show you the problem with it and then... Um, We'll rip this out and replace it, and then I'll probably open this up to see what's going on inside of it. Unfortunately, what really sucks is, you know, I've already cut the hole for this size switch, so, you know, I hope this fits okay and looks okay, but I don't have a choice um, at this point, so let me show you what the problem is. Okay, here is the inside of the solar generator, and you can see here is the battery cutoff switch. Um, it, uh, the main positive from the battery um, comes up through that um, MC5 connector and then through the battery cutoff switch and then off to uh, the inverter. Um, so the main current does flow through that battery cutoff switch, um, but again, supposedly rated for 100 amps and during the other day at 30 amps it was getting incredibly hot. So let's see what it does. Uh, let's use the Okay, so right now it's in the uh, 55 degree range. Um, it's cold in my garage, so uh, 55 degree range. I'm going to turn on a um, I'm going to turn on a load, push about 30 amps through it. After about a minute, we'll see what it gets up to. So let's turn on the meter. Uh, 28.4 amps currently, so right at, you know, just under 30 amps. Um, and uh, so we'll keep an eye on this thing. I can tell you it's already warm. Okay, I can tell you that we are hot enough to almost burn me. Let's see if we can find that hot spot with this um, heat gun. Hundred, hundred and three, hundred and six, hundred and ten. Yeah, we're already hundred and third. Uh, Yeah, I saw 113, 100 and 113 right there. So, after just a couple, uh, after about three, four minutes of running, we are at a, hitting 113 plus degrees on the switch and it's only gonna get hotter. So this switch is not cutting it. Okay, I've separated the top half of the solar generator from the battery and I'm gonna rip that out and uh, then we'll compare it to the new one. Okay, here is the old um, switch. Like I said, they claim this is rated for 100 amps, but this thing currently can't seem to push 30 amps. So I'm gonna take it apart and let's see what's inside and see if it looks like it's 100 amp capable. My 
might actually be sonically welded right here on the top. It looks like it looks like they after they clip it together, it looks like it might have been melted a little bit on here. Let me run a blade. Okay, that came out. Okay, so this piece of copper, or oh, it's not even copper or brass, is what's carrying all the amps. If I'm being honest, it almost looks like there's a bit of a a hot spot or a spark spot there. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I thought this was going to be tiny, this little piece of of brass. Now, I'm still not sure I'd put 100 amps through through this, but it's not as bad as I thought. Now, I don't really want to, but I think I'm going to open up my new switch and compare the um, what's going to carry the amps on the inside. Hopefully this one is beefier. It feels beefier, but I don't know for sure. Okay, it's kind of spring-loaded. It wants to come apart, so i got to be very careful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the difference. Holy smokes. That's the difference between this is supposedly 100 amps too, and this is 100 amps. Unbelievable. I mean, even the thickness is worlds different. So, this will definitely look like it can carry the 100 amps, no question. This thing, this thing's a toy. So, this is gone, and the new one will go in, and now I'm going to try carefully to put this back together because um, it is spring-loaded and kind of a pain to put back together. Okay, I think it's working. Let me screw these screws back together. Okay. That is back together. Let's... Okay, the new battery cutoff switch is installed. It fits okay in the old hole. Um, and there it's wired in on the inside. A little hot glue over the nuts just so they don't back out. It's easy to break off hot glue later if I ever have to disassemble, but um, a little hot glue goes a long way to just hold things together. Okay, we are at uh, four minutes of lapse time. Let's see how we're doing here. We are at 80 degrees. So it is getting, it is warm, but not hot. Um, you know, not dangerously hot. And just looking at the inside of that, of that switch, I'm much more comfortable running current through this switch than that other switch. So just to wrap up, you can see this is actually um, the switch I originally bought you know, rated for 100 amps. Um, but I should have been suspicious when I only paid, I think, $5 for it. $6 for it, actually. And, uh, yeah, they want to run 100 amps through uh, 
that little piece of uh, brass. So uh, there's your problem. So, you know, just be careful with uh, things you buy off AliExpress. I mean, I love AliExpress. I buy a lot of things off AliExpress, but you know, for things that are current carrying, just assume they've probably doubled the rating of it. And, um, you know, uh, do a little due diligence and always do some testing um, when you receive things because you might end up buying it again if it's not rated for what you need it to do.